Yo, what's good guys? This is Flex on the track from Drum Knuckles and today I'm gonna be showing you how I make emotional Turk loops like the voice and uh, I'm gonna be breaking down like how I play the keys, what instruments I use and yeah, let's get straight into it. This is what the loop sounds like. So first I start off with this piano and this is the grandeur piano as always and I turn the tone a little bit to the right and for effects I use Paramagic EQ, the vintage verb with the mix on 100% and I play with the knob over here. Then uh, I use the effect rack and I use crystal choir and I turn the mix down and the mix down over here and this is what I played. So I first started off with a C minor, inverted, instead of the normal one, I inverted it with the G down an octave. And then I went to G sharp major, to G major, or like the dominant fifth. And that resolves back to... So I played a little melody that goes like... It's just a little melody that sounded catchy and, re and it's really repetitive as you can see I played it in the whole thing over here with a little variation at the end and yeah then you get this and then just the transition chord which is the A sharp um, major like the pretty pretty normal progression and for the top notes, they sound like this. So basically what I did is I played like the same, like in the chord. And then I did the pentatonic run, which in C minor is C, D sharp, F, G, A sharp, and then if you want to make it a blue scale, you take that F sharp, so then I did a run up. I just went down the whole scale, and then I did like a... And then I ended on the B, which is in the G chord. As you can see. And then it resolves back to like the C minor. So yeah, that's for the keys. Then I usually do a bass after it and this is my go-to bass, it's a nice session preset from Skyber Rickenbacker and I didn't really mess with the settings and this is what it sounds like. So all I do with the bass is I follow the root note and then at the end of the bar I usually do like a run up or a run down in the pentatonic scale so it results back to the root note and for the effects I just put it a little bit in stereo and I, uh, I've been doing this lately I put also an image 9 on it and I cut around 2 200 uh, hertz and around 2.5k 2, 2 hertz then I put everything below 200 in mono and the rest I put uh, in stereo, I got this trick from 4.5, so shout out to 4.5 on the track. Yeah, that's it for the bass. Then I added a lead guitar with a wild sound effect on it, and this is the Evolution Strawberry Khalil lead in here. It's uh, in the distorted section, the Khalil lead. And then what I do is I put this wild effect on and I turn the speed down to around here, and then this is what it sounds like.
then how do I do these bends? Well, I turn this pitch knob all the way to 20. I right click and then I go link to controller. Then you get this and then you can play with the pitch remote on your, on your keyboard and then you can do and then you can play with the pitch bends and this is what I played so yeah that's it for the guitar for the effects of the guitar I put a vintage verb on it with tin play and I play with the knobs over here the decay and the mix put delay on it through the chorus with a knob down over here the flanges the phaser a little bit of love filler put it a little bit more in the back because it was too present then an EQ and that's it for the for the guitar. Then I took a vocal from Calvi's vocal pack, um, and this is what it sounds like. And for the vocal effects, I put a vintage vocal on there, like 50%, love filler not all the way up to like 80. I'll have a delay with the mix down and mix down over here. Pancake, which makes me pan from left to right and turn the mix down. And then an EQ to cut out the lows and the highs. Then I added a choir, which is from the orchestra. It's choir full sustain, and I literally just paste down the chords that I was playing at the keys over here. And it sounds like this. For the effects, I just put a Paramagic EQ in there, then a fruity, fruity Stereo Enhancer and I put a preset on 4 strings, a Vintage Verb, and an uh, EQO which make it sound a little bit louder at certain frequencies. Then I put an organ in there in the second part of the, of the loop and this is... It's a Praise the Lord preset in um, the gospel, the gospel one over here. And I put the preset to 10. You can drag all the way with this knob and it makes it sound different, but I, I prefer it to 10. And then I play this. Um, to make those runs, I literally just like run my finger all over the, the keyboard and then I run up to like the chord and then I play something in between and then I just did the blue scale and I just did the run again it's like two C minor chords to finish off the whole pattern and yeah for the effects I did a parametric EQ to cut off a lot of the highs because they were really harsh and I boosted a little bit of the mids then I added a vintage verb um, an RC20 put the uh, on final tree and then put it on air mode and play with the knob over here and then a love filler to put it even more in the back and yeah that's it for the effects then I add crashes and they sound like this it's like a transition in the in the loop and then I added a, a perk loop from previous drum kit and then I also added like ambience and then an octave lower it's like something you hear in almost every pain loop and yeah that's what the, the whole loop is made of so that was it for the tutorial I hope you guys learned something from it as always and if you do like this kind of content make sure to like and subscribe on the channel um, if you want to get more exclusive videos that we make um, make sure to sign up for the patreon because we in our discord we actually got like a patreon section where we do classes where we talk about like how we make loops how we do beats um, we also do beat critiques on there we do challenges, like we do challenges, we talk about the music industry, we give advice, anything you can think about. So if you're interested in that, make sure to sign up for the Patreon. Um, if you guys have any more video suggestions, please comment them down below and I'll try to work on it. And I do appreciate every single one of you guys watching my videos because um, they really motivate me to keep on making more of these. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.